Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Naked Tyrion playthrough, and here we are, checking out our, um, <laughs> just our good Master news. Our good news. Hulalian is actually besieging Hag Grief. I haven't decided to do the usual intervention thing and just, like, wander off like a lunatic. Um, so that's good. It looks like things are going rather well here. And at the very worst, if she attacks and things don't go well, look at all these chaos stacks. So I think Nagarond is already at a pretty huge disadvantage. And uh, Hag Grief is a huge moneymaker. So being able to destroy that is really good. Not that the AI really cares about money, let's be honest, but it makes me feel good. So I'm happy about that. Very happy about that. Uh, over on the other side of the pond, though, looks like Anshiriel can be leveled up. Brilliant. We can get a better garrison there uh, before long. But mostly, we're just trying to lie in ambush for Grom the Paunch and his Wami. The fact that he declared a war has really slowed down this uh, this conquest. We also decided to declare war on Aranessa Saltspite, which may have been stupid, but it should be a laugh. And that's the main thing. So, let's crack on. And see what happens. Oh, ho Hell yeah, we got the ambush. Okay, so we cause terror. A whole army causes terror because we've already defeated Grom the Paunch. So this entire army, thanks to the traits that Tyrion got from Grom, they all cause terror when fighting Greenskins. So that's brilliant. In fact, it's actually put it there. Causes terror. It's really weird to see terror and not fear. Because terror basically takes hold. It makes enemies run away for a bit once their leadership gets low enough, but fear actually just lowers leadership a bit, you know, nearby of stuff that isn't, you know, immune to psychology or causes terror itself or fear itself. Anyway, uh, but yeah, no, this is brilliant. So with an ambush, they're going to have bad uh, leadership anyway. This should be really fun. Although what's interesting is we're going to be ambushing this, but if we've ambushed this, I don't think Wami's show up because I think they would be reinforcements. So if we kick the absolute crap out of this out of this army I think that'll disband the war so this is probably the best thing that could have happened alright so sadly it is a Warhammer 2 ambush battle so you start you know half a kilometre away from your enemies which I really dislike. I really, really have my fingers crossed that uh, Warhammer 3 goes back to the sort of Warhammer 1 um, ambush maps, where you actually start like nice and close. Like the tree line is really close to the road, and that's why you picked there to do the ambush. Here, though, this is like. It's rubbish. It's so deep in the trees, it's not an ambush. Anyway. Fingers crossed. Um. Not entirely sure where to set up now, because it's setting up here. It's just a waste for my archers. Absolute waste. Alright, let's set you lot up. Cool. Um, Just like that as well. And you can go there. And, I mean... This, this map sucks. I hate this map. This is just a bad map. It should favour the attacker. It's an ambush. It doesn't favour anyone. Like, this is useless. This is absolutely useless. Ugh. I don't know where to put that, so I guess it's just there. There you go. Done. Tragic. Alright, so... Where is Grom? He's stalked out here, isn't he? Alright, guess that'll do. I suppose it'll have to. Not really an ambush. Yeah, not really an ambush, this. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go get him. Nice downward charge. It's gonna be, uh, pretty good. Now, how's Grom doing? Perfectly fine. Okay, good. Come on. He's escaped. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, no, he's coming back. Good, good, good. All right. Although I do want to get out of here and start setting fire to things. Yeah, you lot all need... Uh, yeah, you shoot there. You all need to be in guard mode, so that's great news. You move over here and we'll start bombarding these guys. So my Silverhelms are struggling, of course, but that's okay. What just happened there? That was odd. 
Okay. This is going rather well. Okay, come on. Let's clear these guys out. Come on, run away, guys. You're supposed to be terrified. Be terrified. I promise, you'll like it. I don't know why you'll like it, but you will. You'll love being terrified. Why don't you just try it? Oh, they're back. Hi, Silverhelms. Jump down. And you finish them off. <laughs> More Silverhelms in here. Having quite a bad day, all things considered. That's all good. Uh, you're fireball. Okay. Well. Got him yet? Apparently not. Did I lose the silver helms? I think I did lose those other silver helms. I think I did straight up lose those. Okay, you head that way. You start shooting over there. And you guys start shooting them. And he got away. Cheeky little... Son of a gun. Oh, we're doing okay, though. But seriously, what a crap map for an ambush. Like, if I had this army, I would never choose here to ambush. It's terrible. Just shocking. Alright, you've up there. Uh, we're dealing with Grom. Slowly but surely. What is speed? 84. That's good speed. That was good speed. Well played. But we ambushed him, so I'll just let him run. Decisive victory. There we go. So we did lose Silver Helms, but I actually don't mind. I haven't found them particularly useful. Let's go with Force Labor. I'll make sure we're fighting fit to go attack the next, uh, the next spot there. Oh, they're going to come in for another shot. Looks like it. They hang on. What the hell? How does Grutter have... Grutter had a larger... That doesn't make any sense. You need to have like a minimum of like five units or something. For you to be able to have a... War. So he shouldn't have this War army at all. That's really peculiar. I don't know how he managed this. Real weird. Uh, I can auto-resolve I guess. Although, Grum the Paunch might just turn around because it didn't actually, um... We didn't actually wipe him out in that ambush. Hmm. Ah, I'm sure it'll be fine. We'll just get the, uh, Force Labor again. Okay, Grom is running off with his tail between his legs. Now, Hulalian has destroyed Hag Grief. Brilliant. I don't know where they're going now, though. But if they're just going to go to random little minor settlements uh, belonging to Nagarond, I am ecstatic. That's absolutely fine by me. If they can just, like, burn everything down, rather than just getting murdered, attacking only the, the you know, most defended strongholds, ah, just burn everything to the ground. Really slow the enemy down. So, Hexawattle did manage to complete the ritual, which uh, I'm kind of fine with. So the skies are split with the chromatic My pulse and the winds howl, drawing the clouds into tattered shreds which spiral, shrieking toward the Isle of the Dead. One of our opponents has completed a ritual, a part of their accursed design to impose their will on the Great Vortex and thus subjugate it to their own ends. We must strike at them before it is too late, or redouble our own efforts to dominate the Vortex and beat our rivals at the last. Protector of the Ever Queen. Good attacker, sure are. Goblin defender, sure are. Orcsbane, yep. Strict for Yasmin. Oh, okay. Uh, regimes cannot be maintained without strict discipline. And he killed our blood and red and grasser. So, what sort of... We still have no idea what army he's got. Not a clue. Not a clue. So, Tyrion. Tyrion. Um, I mean, something like Speed of Assyrian would be nice to give him 100 speed. I'd quite like that. But, first... I'm actually going to go Blademaster first. He's pretty... Uh, oh, wow, he got two level ups. He's pretty survivable, so I just want to make sure he can hit a lot more consistently. Because I feel like he's not killing things as well as he should be. 
He should be killing things really, really well, but he's only killing things fairly well. Oh, also, melee defense only actually 30. It um, hadn't equipped that before. But still, he's a character on a chariot, so he does have better melee defense than chariots normally, I'm pretty sure. Close seeker. Ever vigilant. And, yep, Corb. Uh, Torkuali, although Tiny Tim Rains is hanging out there. Not sure what to do about Grom. Not sure what to do about Grom. I might just have to ambush here again, you know. And hope this lunatic runs out. And this is a problem too. That's a problem I can't resolve. Not yet, anyway. I can just run to Sardaneth, though. I don't know where they're going to make landfall. They can do that in a few places. At your service. Definitely should have cornered them before declaring war on them. But what would be the fun in that? Magical reserves. Lovely. Protect okay, go I'm head waiting. up towards Sardaneth. And... I mean, I would love to get some more recruitment here. But I also need to be in ambush stance. The gods are with us. So I guess that'll have to do. We are making a lot of money right now, though, which is great to see. Uh, any buildings we can build? No. Nope. Apparently not. Research available. Uh, lower upkeep for Lobna Sea Guard units is very handy. That's going to be an extra... Uh, it's going to be like, what, 20 quid off? Although, trade advancements. It would be good to get that so we can start getting some of these other bits, like income from ports and growth. That's a big deal. So let's get trade advancements now. And Vortex Ritual. We don't want to do that yet. We don't want to do it yet. The would-be suitor, a noble prince of Illyrian, presents himself before the court, offering the courtship of his eldest and certainly most beautiful daughter. It is not forbidden for the Phoenix King, once married to the Ever Queen, to take additional consorts, yet to do so would send an interesting message, one that could not be easily undone. All the same, it is clear this prince wishes to carry favour, yet the entire court observes the action of the Phoenix King. What he chooses to do may have repercussions. Interesting. Um... So, take her as a consort, which Illyrian will love, but lower our influence. Or, take another consort, which is, literally, we're going to have this priestess of Isha, otherwise, immune to attrition for the Lord's army, but at the cost of campaign movement range. Nah. That is a really good utility um, follower to have, though, in case you're, like, traipsing across um, Norska or something. Really useful to have. But, not so useful in, um, in, in the Vortex campaign. Uh, or we could politely decline, which will give us a bunch of influence. We have quite a lot, but Illyrian will dislike it a bit. But we actually have agreements with Illyrian now. So finally, we're in a position where we can do things like that. So, you know. Or we could get a little bit less influence and just pay some money. Yeah, everyone's happy if we do that. So buying favours is not cheap, but achieves the same ends without having to sully oneself with entanglements. All right, 10 more influence. Over 100 now. Lovely. Lovely stuff. So Tiny Tim is back, which is good. And, uh, yeah, I guess Tyrion can just chill. Now, let's upgrade some of this stuff. Uh, yeah, let's do the capital. And we've got a lot of trinkets here. Should probably swap that out for something not trinkets. I know we'll lose a bit of money here. Um, but I'll swap them out for the growth buildings. And we'll just go all in with growth and try and level this whole place up really quickly. I might do the same over here as well, if, um... Yeah, I guess I'll get rid of that. And over here? Actually, I kind of need the garrison, because I have a feeling... Although, it's terrible. But I have a feeling that we're just going to have, um... These Dark Elves declare war on us any second now. Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. Uh, also, I want to check. I can't get any more heroes, can I? No, I'm maxed out. God, the hero building is just so high up the chain. Uh, so yeah. This one first. Growth and income from ports. I want to maximize growth because I want to get garrisons built us. as quickly as possible so I can start just, you know, blitzing through this stuff and start focusing on ritual sites um, predominantly, you know? So you'd clear out the area, and get my empire built up, you know, build nice and tall, and then go out seeking ritual sites. That's the plan. Oh, crap. I didn't realize we had moved to this turn. My bad. Uh, but that's perfect, actually. Pyrrhic victory, everything will be dead. I mean, that's fine. Although, this looks like quite a fun battle to be had. Yeah, we're fighting it. 
All right, so. Uh, Tyranoch Chariots. I think we will actually just use their ranged attacks. They have really good missile strength, by the way. Something I haven't really pointed out before. But they do have very good missile strength. Um, let's pull these guys way back. Okay, we're going to want the Eagle Claw Bolt Throwers to try and take out the bloated corpses. Might be a bit of a bother. We'll see. Uh, so let's go for those bloated corpses. I guess let's put on skirmish mode. That's fine. Let's go for those bloated corpses. There's another one there. So, how is this going to go, huh? Going to go good? I hope it goes good. Yeah, you missed. Well, that hit. Can you stop running side by side, like side to side? It's very annoying. They're being very dodgy. Looks like we're going to get them, though, so it's okay. And his depth guard would be good to kill as well. Okay, good. Almost got him. Almost there. Look at that. That's going to take some doing. Kind of just want to shoot into this crowd with these guys now. Although, oh, if I could blow that up. Can you imagine? You know what? I can't imagine. Screw it. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. We may lose these guys. That's fine. Absolutely fine. Sina, death to all. Guys, are you kidding me? For okay, come on, come on, come on. A little bit further, a little bit further, a little bit further. Come on, come on, come on. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. Blow up. Excellent. <laughs> Job done. <laughs> so good. Oh, that's cheeky. I'm a cheeky one. Come on, you're... you're Skirmishing, come on. Okay, so that's all good. That was all fun. Just wiped out two Sartosa militia. And of course they do run away, which is very funny. Ow! Ow! What hit me with that? I have no idea what hit me with that. That's amazing. Alright. That's all good and well. And uh, I don't know how you managed to end up all the way over here. Nice. Okay. Don't know why they're not bothering to attack uh, my archers, but that's fine, I guess. Odd folk. No, not gonna... Alright. Fair enough. Alright, now you lot can shoot into there. They do have Tiny Tim Reigns over there. And there is John Drakenfort over there. Oh, what are you doing all the way over there? That's silly. You're silly. And you get him over there. They're nearly dead. And oh my god, that's a bloated corpse. Well, that's a bit scary. Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running. Oh god. Ooh. No. Ooh. Well, joke's on me. Joke's on me, I guess. <laughs> well played. Well played, bloated corpse from the forest. Genuinely, that's um, that's amazing. That was genuinely really good. <laughs> good for them. <laughs> oh, and a follow up with the throwing the ocean at me. Stop throwing the ocean at me. Okay, stop it. I'll dry you out. Okay, you throw an ocean at me, I evaporate you. Yeah, there we go. So, that was fine. Lose some spearmen, we lose some spearmen. Oh, we didn't lose any spearmen. Oh, easy. Alright, so I'll take this. Got an enchanted shield. Lovely. We've taken Northern Everest. I serve the Phoenix King. Which I like to hear. Uh, oh. Would like a Sawyer, but I'm not going to get that. No, we're going to go all in with growth buildings. And, oh, I do want a gold mine, though. Uh, while we're rolling in money, I'm going to go all in with growth buildings. There'll be time to build a gold mine, okay? Once we get this to tier 3, we're almost there already. Okay, once we get all this stuff up, 
I'll get rid of the the homestead and we'll get a um, gold mine and a, and a thingamajig garrison building. So, preserved seafood. Salting fish ensures it can be transported inland and is still uh, and still be edible by the time it gets there. Again, not like there's no high elf flavor there, which I find very sad. Uh, now, what is going on in here? Okay, there's Grom. He's got a big old army. Which is annoying. So I guess you stay there. And Billy the Slimy is here. Hello, Slimy Bill. And let's level you up, Yasmin. So, Bowmaster. Good. And you're going to go to uh, Trelinia. And hopefully he won't just go all the way up to Sardineth and keep going back and forth. He probably will. <laughs> but hopefully he won't. I know, it's a lot to ask. Uh, growth building and growth building. Although we can also get a Cinnabar mining pit, which is rather nice. Be nice to get that at some point, but not yet. All in with the growth buildings. Uh, might do the same over here with Porto Lestor, actually. Even though we do really need to get a grove built so we can get the uh, white lions. Um, I don't think we can do that, though. Nope, we're going to go growth building. And a bigger garrison. Brilliant. Okay. That feels like a productive uh, turn of events, I think. Yeah, this all feels very productive. Although we have, like, no growth buildings here. Though we do have pretty good growth here. But 12 more turns before we can get to tier 4. That's not that bad, considering. It's tier 4, like, around turn 50. It's alright. Lady of the Phoenix Court. I'd say that's fine. Could have definitely, you know, sort of powered our way through. But, no, that'll do. Uh, what's this next? There's an old forest, you're right. Uh, cheaper Northern Sea Guard. Let's do that. So, a bunch of this stuff, once we get growth going, a bunch of these we'll be able to get, because we'll be able to actually build our resource buildings up to max level with a bunch of those. That's how you so unlock those, the by the way, if that wasn't clear. All of these, you know, that needs a cattle ranch, that needs a exotic animal bazaar, a uh, eastern bazaar, iron smelter, etc, etc. It's all the different resources in the game, but a higher, you know, the highest tier um, building for each of them, which is only tier 3 for resource buildings. So, like, um, just that. See? That unlocks tech. That one. Sculptor's Workshop. So, nice and easy. Anyway, commandment available in Northern Ivres. Growth, please. And Vortex Ritual available, but we're not doing that yet. And Billy the Slimy actually decided to attack me. My whole army's tired, which is a bit annoying, but we can win this without having to fight it, so I'm going to. I'll just, just, they can die. That's fine. I have need of slaves. I'll we'll have Yasmin uh, get her health back, and then I'll, I'll zip across the coast. Uh, Bleak Coast Buccaneers want a peace treaty. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, all right. I've not seen the point of being at war with them in the first place, so I'm kind of cool. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Um, so we have we have Grom completely surrounded, but like no one's going for the attack. So Tyrion's just kind of sat idle right now, which is kind of bothering me. Um, do I want to go in with the Salt Flats? I think I actually want to go with the Homestead. We're going to go more with um, Growth Buildings again. And the Invocation of Fall expired, which is fine. Just means I can do it again. Ha 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 ha. Love it. Uh, so let's get a Dilemma for a powerful magic item. Well... There are four powerful magic items at your disposal. Which do you choose? So the Ruby Guardian Phoenix gives us the passive ability. Ruby Guardian Phoenix, which gives 10% um, flame resistance map-wide. Which is fine. And 25% fire resist for yourself. The Helm of Cain gives armor melee attack, physical resist, fear, and unbreakable. Which kind of sucks. The Winged Staff has... Oh, that's fun. It's a um, bound spell of uh, Flock of Doom, or the Enchanted Spyglass, glass, which gives bonus base missile damage for nearby units. Again, none of these seem that good. We are just not getting very good stuff here. Uh, I think maybe the Winged Staff. I like I like having uh, Lord of Beasts. It's quite fun just to throw uh, uh, Flocks of Doom on top of people. 
I mean, the fire resistance, I guess, is quite nice. I give this to my, um... I guess if I give this to my, uh... Not bright wizard, but, you know, mage of fire. Then that would help protect people from her spells? I guess she could use, like, fire bombardment spells on top of herself to kill anything that's got us surrounded. So I guess I'll do that. Orders. I don't know if I can even do that, though, given the fact that she's already got this equipped. Hang on a minute. What is it? Is it a talisman? It is a talisman. Okay, fine then. We can equip it. Well, good. Good. Lots more fire. All the fire. And a skill point. What should we get you? You're level 10 now. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, Flamestorm is just too fun a spell not to bring along, so we'll do that. And Yasmin can get Bowmaster maxed out. Excellent. Princess Good news. It shall be done. And now, we can upgrade the growth buildings. They are very quick to build, which I like. I think that's really good for, for a building that's sort of there for growth, because it means you can quickly speed up growth, you know? If you had to wait weeks, then it wouldn't be very good. Uh, that's not going to put up the um, uh, uh, capacity for mages, but it will get me on my way to doing so, so I am tempted to build another mage tower. Although, no, we need the walls, don't we? We do need the walls. Alright, soon. Soon, guys. Soon. Kinda. Sort of soon. Also, are you angry? You are a bit angry. You are a bit angry. But we're one turn away from having sort of the maximum garrison um, that is available to us at the moment. Which actually isn't looking great. At least we've got the two Phoenix Guard. And that's going to give us a Moon Dragon and a Mage. But we don't have just the chaff from having, um, you know, this building. We don't have the extra Silver Helms, Eagle, Lothen Sea Guard. Or the Silver Helms, Lothen Sea Guard, White Lions and Eagles. You know, we, we don't have that. But should be okay. Should be okay. Hopefully. And I guess Tyrion's is going to camp out there. It's very annoying that he's just got to camp there. Uh, so one more turn and we can get to full health and head down this way. I reckon they're probably going to head to the Shrine of Loic, which is annoying, but... I mean, this is way more valuable to them than, than this is to us. So I think I can handle it, but I will want to be on full health before I start sailing over there. Okay. Oh, also, I want to go check up on my intervention army. How are you doing? You're attacking Nagarond. Okay, I was saying it would be great if she wanders over here and just starts taking any old settlement, but Nagarond is completely on its own, and Halalian is here, so I have a feeling... Uh, I have a feeling that the other Chaos armies managed to fight off a bunch of Malekith's troops, and, and now our intervention army is just cleaning house. If we take out Nagarond and she keeps going... Like, how... He's still strength rank 1. 12 settlements. Okay, he's everywhere. I was going to say, she's just going to go on a tear and, like, finish off the faction. Very unlikely. Very unlikely. But, um, one can dream. And dream we shall. Good. Let's crack on. Okay. Still, still don't want to get ambushed. They, they still haven't spotted our ambush. I have a feeling as soon as they spot our ambush, we are dead. But they don't want to move while all this stuff is here. You know what I need to do? I need to pay attention for when these guys get their turn, because if I stand next to them, all these guys are going to attack and drag me into the fight, and it's going to be great. <laughs> like, we'll just wipe everything out. Because I don't even want this settlement. Because I don't want to have to share this settlement with all the other factions vying for it. It would just be very annoying to have to do that. So I might just stand right next to them and hope these guys charge in. Is that wise? They could just get me killed. Well, Tyrion killed. I serve the Phoenix King. Okay, Torivres. Let's level that up. And do I want to be tired? I don't think I have a choice. I want to get here as quickly as possible. Because, although I don't mind losing the Shrine of Loic, if I can avoid it, I'll avoid it, you know? It's like, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily mind if I step in dog poo. You know, it's not going to completely ruin my day, but I'd rather avoid it. So, let's have a look. Um, I don't think there's anything else to build or, or do currently. I think I think everything is um, going according to plan. Yeah, let's just uh, let's just press on. 
My people have striven to keep you from our realm. Oh yeah, here we go. I knew this would happen eventually. They've just taken so long to do it. They've taken so long. But that is very annoying. Okay, good. So ambush foiled, by the way. Pop-up just said ambush was foiled. They got some startling pump wagons here. I was some river trolls in the war. It's mostly chaff, but we have no spellcasters, so um, it will take us forever to fight through all this nonsense. Do I want to fight it? It really just will be like Tyrion and um, Amblifor toe-to-toe -to -toe against all this stuff. We're going to get completely overrun. Oh, God, it's one of those annoying moments where I would just auto-resolve it, because I can't be bothered to have to have another fight with Grom when we already defeated him. Twice. But also, I know this could be quite an entertaining battle. It's definitely going to push through our paces, but I actually just think we're going we're gonna to lose. Just straight up, I, I don't think we can beat this. Just numbers. Just so many numbers. These guys aren't going to be able to hold out against the buffed um, goblins. So we will just die. So actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take all the deaths there and just auto resolve, or else we're gonna lose Tyrion. Have to rebuild another Tyrion and other armies. No, I want this campaign to end one day. So that'll do. And being attacked again by Rend. Rend, mate, come on, what are you playing at? I thought we were friends. I thought we were Rend friends. Don't know what that means. Well, that'll do, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna run away. You can't catch me. Yes, you can. Now there's even more people. Really? Really? I guess we're fighting it then. So, of course, you know. We're getting absolutely um, bullied. I did say, as soon as we get spotted, uh, we're in a lot of trouble. And, well, we got spotted, so we're in a lot of trouble. But, hopefully, if I can keep this guy moving, and, you know, we've got the helm of Discord and other bits and bobs. And, hopefully, if we can pick off the enemy archers, then Stevie Nicks can just bombard everybody. And, hopefully, if Tyrion runs in like an absolute stud, he can, uh, he can just wrap up a bunch of the enemy and we don't have to worry. Okay, let's speed this up. Where are they? There they are. i go kill these archers. Oh, hi, the entire enemy army. How are you doing today? He'll be fine, probably. Yeah. That's a dame for him. Suits me. Okay, so he's going to be a problem, that old war boss. And... It looks like that might go well. Hard to say. How are you getting on? You're getting many kills. And no kills, but almost 6,000 damage, which is quite good. Yeah, this is all a bit of a concern, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, good. Alright, now get the heck out of that, Stevie Nicks. Oh, God. Why are these taking some damage? And we have, um, Thingamajig, remember. You know. Uh, Heart of Avalon. So once he gets damaged, he will, um, he will get that back. Okay, go for that guy. Good. Alright. Good. Excellent. Now come over here and start terrifying things. Excellent. Maybe just shoot the orc. Might be a good idea. And he's still in there. He's got some goblins in there, so that's something. Okay. Now let's get over here. Drop some bombs on these guys. Good. Okay. Making progress. Sort of. 90 kills for Amra Paul. And we're still doing alright over here. Yeah, Narian's still having a way over time. How many kills you got? 100. Nice. Nice. And, yep, they're dead. Everything's starting to run away. And that's not quite game. 
because they've still got all that noise, which is concerning. But I'm going to not do badly. Okay, shoot them. I just want a volley into them, that's all. Uh, Alright, let's charge into here. You stay where you are. And, oh, you're coming for me, maybe. Still some more boys coming. Still them. Over there. Nice, some good hits. Uh, I guess I'm gonna throw a fireball at those jerks. And yeah, we're gonna pull back. Yeah, no shooting me, okay? I said no shooting me. Rude. Alright, how you doing? Have, have I procced Heart of Avalon already? It still seems to say that I have abuse of it, so... I think Tyrion can keep chopping through these guys. It really is only a concern when Zajar turns up. Okay. Ah, oh, he's doing alright. Doing okay. Girl, what ridiculous battle this is. And maybe I should do standard rounds. I feel like I'll actually skewer more that way. A lot of these guys are starting to break, which is good. Uh, we are near our healing cap, actually. Which makes me think that that must have procced? Maybe we just didn't have much health to begin with, so... Okay, come on. Come on now. Come on. Let's shoot that guy or kill the... Let's, let's, let's shoot the orcs. Okay. Let's shoot the orcs. Come on, Anarian. Almost 200 kills. Pretty good. Pretty good. 200 kills. Love it. Don't let they keep shooting, though. Uh, there's the Lovensea Guard. You guys run out, please. Okay, they should get terrified very fast. Sounds good. Oh. Seems to be going okay. That's strange. Ah, good army loss has taken hold. So how you doing, Tyrion? You shouldn't just be stood there, you know. Can the Heart of Avalon proc before the end of the battle, though? That would be great. Unless it already did, in which case, you know. Boo. That's very frustrating. He's going to end the battle with so little health. <laughs> It'll be fine. Heroic victory. It sure was, kind of. We only did it because we were being cowards about fighting the other battles, so... You know, swings and roundabouts. That went well. Actually, a lot of kills from uh, Amrafor there. Not bad, so he had almost no health. Pretty good going. Uh, force labor, I think we could do with the additional um, replenishment. You know, considering. And now, these guys should be able to move in with no trouble. And yet, they didn't. Guys, can you stop sucking so badly? I ain't, doing that. <laughs> I ain't sucking that badly. Alright, well, better ambush um, <laughs> chances, even though he failed at ambushing, so that's amusing. Some fun, um, I guess, tragic irony, I don't know. From above, below, or the shadows, this one knows when and where to strike. Sure does. And another ritual was completed. And yep, ambush foiled. Be the best. Recruitment cost goes up, but recruit rank goes up. That's actually fine. We are rolling in money. So getting extra recruit rank is brilliant. I'll take it. So a recent clutch of reports regarding ill discipline in the lower ranks is cause for concern. Clearly, clods are being hired. This has to stop. But recruitment costs have risen accordingly, but new recruits begin at two ranks higher. Good. Get, get out of the way. All right. So, Lothan Seaguard. My army's going to be way more expensive than it was, but I think it's going to be rather good. Um, do I want to get a couple of spearmen anyway, or all Lothan Seaguard? I feel like it should be all Lothan Seaguard, so I'm going to do that. Good. And yes, we are going to have so many missiles. It's going to be great. Uh, so... Yeah, Blade Master did great, but I mean we didn't even we didn't even upgrade his melee defense, and he's still just like hung in there, just against a bunch of chaff for ages. It was great. 
Um, so this one is going to help Lon Seagard, right? Yes. Only if they're high enough rank, which, you know, could be a while before they are, but... Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm going to hold off on that. Let's get hard to hit. Let's get hard to hit. Let's make him better duelist. Cool. So this should be good. A couple of turns, and I think he's going to be uh, pretty formidable. I know we are lacking in sort of mobility, but at some point we will actually have access to Dragon Princes, and I'll be able to get those, because Silverhelms are fine, just... I don't know. They're not great. I just find they don't do enough damage for, for heavy cavalry. So they just sort of sit there and take damage and eventually go down. But, you know. You can cycle charge them and really, you know, do a lot of work. But I find, like, it doesn't matter. They'll be better if you cycle charge them. But it's not better than just having some more art to shoot something, you know. Um, I rarely find much of a use for them. For silver helms. Bless them. Uh, I'm sure I've said that now, and I'll end up bumping into a bunch of enemies where I'm like, I really need something just to block. <laughs> I really just need to keep this big unit contained. Some cavalry would be great, and I won't have it, but, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll, uh, I've dug my grave, I'll lie in it. Let's go with Blade Shield. Yeah, I want, I want better, uh, melee defense. Because it's got quite low melee defense on the chariot. So let's just buff that a bunch. And Yasmin. Keep sailing to the pirates. Would be good to take Sartosa. It's unpleasant climate though, but it does have some opportunities for earning money, if I recall correctly. So I think I'll try and take it. I think I'll try and take it. Even if it means getting a slit throat. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Right, Porta Last Door. Ah, it's that, so we can upgrade. Uh, so remember, this is, you know, max tier, but we're trying to level up everything else, so having the better farms there is still going to be beneficial to us. Um, I think that's all I can build now, though, right? Also, here we are with all the really expensive buildings. <laughs> Tiny garrison of Moon Dragons and Phoenix Guard, etc. It's kind of ridiculous. I like it, personally. I like it a lot. Ah, here we go. This is stuff that we can get. Uh, since when did this have a... Have a farrier? I don't even remember. I guess it's just there and I didn't, you know, it didn't register, uh, which is fine. Okay, let's get stone walls and I'm going to demolish that. You know what? I'm going to build this first, okay? We're going to get the Shrine of Asylian because we need that for a quest. And I'm sick of Tyrion not having Sunfang because whenever there's hordes of enemies, we can't do anything about it because we don't have any spellcasters in his army, which I definitely want to get soon. I really want a spellcaster in his army. We just don't have the... You know, the, the recruitment capacity for him. But he needs a spellcaster. He just can't deal with big swathes of chaff. Sunfang will definitely help with that. But, yeah, we need a spellcaster. Maybe Shadow would be fun with him. I think Shadow. Because it'll feel a bit foreboding. You know? Given the fact that he, he may very well pick up the Sword of Cain at some point. Which is all spoopy. Anyway, uh, we are going to have to fight Albion as well. Do need to deal with this stuff. I'm a little bit concerned about all the um, all the Dark Elves showing up. And it looks like Nagarond has been destroyed. That is hilarious. Seriously, Inrian, love you. You're brilliant. You were called Hulalian, but I guess she died. But yeah, you guys absolutely crushing it. Apart from the being dead thing. You know, apart from that, you guys are crushing it. So, this is where we're going to end the episode. Still haven't got rid of Grom, but essentially we have. We, we took all the hits. So that, uh, I guess, Kathik can go ahead and take it. Otherwise, Larry will probably grab it. I don't know. Either way, it won't be our concern. So, guys, if you're enjoying this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.